the Reds were 1-0 up and on course for a morale-boosting win at the King Power Stadium but they suffered another spectacular collapse Leicester 3-1 Liverpool, match statistics it never rains but it pours, for Liverpool. And for Alison Becker. If anything could sum up the Reds' season then here it was, all wrapped in one horrific, seven-minute bundle. Editors picks Bayern Munich beat Liverpool and Chelsea to signing of Upamecano How did Yap Stam's FC Cincinnati beat Europe's elite clubs to sign $13 million Brazilian wonderkid Brenner? AC Milan seek permanent deal for Real Madrid forward Brahim Diaz Pochettino's big error, why did he play Neymar against Khan with Barcelona tie looming? All of a sudden, the world's best goalkeeper looks anything but. All of a sudden, he has started making mistakes. Bad ones. Costly ones. After his two howlers against Manchester City last weekend came another at the King Power Stadium, as Leicester struck a crucial blow in the battle for a top four place with a 3-1 victory that was as farcical as it could be damaging, for Jurgen Klopp's champions. Liverpool looked on course for three vital points, 1-0 up with just 12 minutes remaining. Mo Salah's wonderful finish, from a sublime Roberto Firmino assist, had given them a deserved advantage, reward for an enterprising and surprisingly confident performance away from home. They'd even had a bit of fortune, too, with Jamie Vardy hitting the crossbar when clean through and VAR overturning a penalty awarded for a foul on Harvey Barnes by Thiago Alcantara. Things were looking up. And then they weren't. First, James Madison's free kick, awarded instead of the Barnes spot kick, found its way into the far corner. Up went the flag, but after a lengthy review, VAR deemed that Firmino had played Leicester's onrushing men, none of whom got a touch, onside. It was 1-1. One one. Okay, so a point away from home to a rival can't be sniffed at, yeah? Think again. Within three minutes, the Reds' world had caved in. There appeared to be little danger when Yori Thielmans aimed a diagonal in the vague direction of Barnes, right to left. Ozan Kabak, the debutante, looked to have it covered, but Allison raced from his line to confuse the situation. Kabak, stretching, got to the ball, but steered it against his goalkeeper and straight to Jamie Vardy, who virtually walked the ball home for 2-1. Vardy strummed the corner flag like a guitar, while goalkeeper and defender simply looked at one another. Everyone else, meanwhile, wondered what the hell had just occurred. A misunderstanding, Klopp called it. You could say that. There were only nine minutes remaining and yet somehow it got worse for his side. Allison had to make a genuinely incredible double save to deny Barnes and Vardy almost immediately, and he was left exposed once more as Barnes latched onto Wilfred Ndidi's pass to finish confidently for his 12th goal of the season. From 1-0 up to 3-1 down, in the space of 7 absurd minutes.